What's going on, everybody? Another episode of Everyone Hates Tesla. And here we go again. Thanks to employees, we have been able to perform. And I wanted to give a special thanks and a shout out to this individual who worked at Tesla for a while. And we're going to go ahead and go. Sawyer broke the news, but of course, on Twitter. She also said it on her LinkedIn. But Tesla's VP of Finance and Business Operation, SV, has announced she is leaving the company after an incredible 11 year run. So she was at the company for over a decade. And we're going to read actually what she says. So we don't need to actually read from what he quoted. Now, look at this. After 11 incredible years, I bid farewell to Tesla. Reflecting on this journey, it has been nothing short of extraordinary. And she joined uh, Director of Finance Operations in early 2013, when Tesla was a company of less than $1 billion in yearly revenues, a market cap of $4 billion and less than 3,000 cars delivered in a year, leaving as vice president. So fast forward, guys. One of only two women VPs in a the company, they always got to throw that in there, with annual revenues soaring close to 100 billion. Annual revenues, 100 billion, guys. And then a market cap of 700 billion when she's leaving and reaching 1 trillion during the pandemic. And cars delivered in a year to more than 1.8 million. I am proud of how much we've achieved together. Now, if you think about this, you know, she's an employee. She worked her way up. But I want you guys to actually understand that she had stock options and stock rewards. And because she had these two stock options and rewards, hopefully she was awarded stock, which she should have been. And that's over a thousand percent increase. So whatever she was awarded, which may be a basis of a hundred thousand being conservative of stock options rewards back when she joined Tesla over a decade ago, and what that portfolio would be worth today is over a million dollars. So she's leaving a millionaire, not through the money she was paid in salary, but the stock options she received over her duration of working with Tesla and the company performing owning a piece of the company, getting paid out a piece of the company's shares. So that's entirely different. And then if she added extra money in her stock option plan, which she took some of her salary and invested it towards purchasing some stock, then it should be well above a million. But that's a conservative estimation, right? She probably had or has way much wealth than that. So most of you normies don't know nothing of that. Even if you have a union, a union doesn't even put you at that solid financial security. Anyways, let's continue. In my strategic role, she had the privilege to contribute to the ramp ups of Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y in the Cybertruck and the construction of several new factories. Several guys, not just one. So this is the person who put in massive amounts of energy, attention, time, and money. I was also deeply involved in the growth of our energy products. So she expanded energy products and our team played a pivotal role in disrupting multiple industries, car energy, notably transforming the DMV process to fully automated car buying and registration in numerous states. So guys, people don't like going to the DMV, but if you listen to what she said, that they created innovative solutions of transforming the DMV process so when people purchase Tesla cars, the car buying and the registration was made more effective and efficient through her works. Come on, man. That's really going above and beyond. That's not going to work and just scrolling Facebook and doing what your boss told you. That's being innovative. All right. A company doesn't always ask you to be innovative. You're there to fill your duties and your roles. But if you want to innovate, then that's interesting. Only some people do that. All right, let's continue. We also meticulously manage cash flow to support our rapid growth and expansion. We ensured that Tesla could invest in scaling operations globally, including new markets in Europe, China, and several other regions, thereby building a truly global presence. We constructed a world-class transformative and lean organization by implementing new systems, and streamlining operations across order, management, HR, payroll, time management, and supplier management, to name a few. So she just dropped a little bit, Salt Bay. She gave you a little bit of what she did, just to name a few. 
I'm proudly or I'm profoundly grateful to the incredible champions, including some who are no longer with the company because they moved on, my teammates and colleagues who supported me and my team throughout this journey. Your integrity, dedication, and collaboration were instrumental in our shared success. As I take a break to spend quality time with my family, reconnect with old friends, and focus on personal well-being, I am energized for what lies ahead. When the time is right, I am hopeful that I will be fortunate to find another incredible opportunity like Tesla, where I can drive impact change and contribute to a meaningful mission with exceptional people. Thank you to everyone who has been a part of this remarkable chapter. Here's to new beginnings and future adventures. And thank you for your service. And I wanted to kind of provide that context because a lot of old people are always talking about Tesla employees are mistreated. They have a terrible time. They hate the company. This is just gossip, chatty patty. If you look at Glassdoor and see the satisfaction level, it's pretty good. So it's just like it's not the best in the galaxy, but the company is doing very well. But a lot of people are always, you know, kind of mad and saying it's not. And it's the worst place to work. And they always complain about some normies. Normies, normies, normies. Let's see. Let's go to Google. The almighty knowing Google. Tesla employee. And I had this up. but So I said this in a chat to somebody recently. And it's pretty good. All right. So employees' reviews are around about 4.1 at about 9,000. It's not too high, but it's also good enough, especially for a company that's cutting edge. Let me go ahead and bring that up. So a company that's cutting edge, right? Review sentiment at Tesla, 80%. People with the smiles, right? A lot of people are positive about the company overall, right? Out of 717 employees, 80% were happy. Excuse me, get this out the way. The remaining 20% were constructive reviews with the goal of helping Tesla improve their work culture and the IT team with 100% reviews, right? And then the sales team offered the most constructive feedback with 73% of that department's review constructive in nature. And I'm pretty sure it's some work-life balance type of stuff like let us sip molte lattes and lattes and espressos and cappuccinos and, you know, wine on tap, you know, things like that. But nothing about actual business, getting t- and sticking to the business. So I just kind of wanted to provide this context to help dispel the myth that everybody hates Tesla when they leave, right? Another executive out. Will Tesla last another week? See, here goes negative Nancy's, like, right? People can't move on and have a life. They have to forever work at the company. <laughs> Right. SV is a simply the very best. Her tireless work and dedication was unmatched. I see her doing extraordinary things in the next chapter after this place. And thanks for all you have done over the past 11 years. Best of luck in the future. And I like Tesla and all that. But tomorrow, the Tesla community will be in an uproar. Somebody is dropping a new video and you guys thought first was bad. I've seen it. It's crazy. I'm sure people are just complaining. Excellent commitment and achievements. She has made a long journey of Tesla. Her work will be in the history books. Best wishes on your next life chapter, SV. And I'm pretty sure she left with a good compensation package. So thanks for your service. Thank you for everything you do. And everybody else at Tesla that constantly puts in the work. I always want to highlight this a little bit on our channel. Just so people can see that there's real people in the company doing excellent things. They love working there and they contribute towards the innovation because we're always looking at the people in charge, CEOs, right? We're looking at large shareholders. We're looking at politicians, but we're not giving any recognition to the people actually down there doing the work, innovating the process. Guys, you don't even know who made the iPhone. You guys actually think it was Steve Jobs. So this is what I'm saying. It's time to give some people recognition. Everyone hates Tesla beside SV. She did a great job and thank you for your service and enjoy the next chapter 